anyway, today we're going to talk about floor mats. Oh, to you people that maybe more inclined to be, I don't know, city people, or you don't take your pickups off the road very much, it's probably don't really concern you too much, but uh, those of you, even if you live in the city, if you go hunting or whatever, if you live in a place where it rains a lot, we're going to talk about floor mats. Uh, I came to this truck for an example, and I forgot that the stock floor mats aren't in here, so bear with me. Okay, these are kind of a big deal. And these have hit home to me for many years. So, let's see here. A long time ago, it would have been when my 2001 F-150 was like a year or two old. I bought some uh, floor mats, and I don't know if they were the first or not, but the first supposedly rugged floor mat you know made for mud and water and shit i believe it was husky i know they were one of the first they don't they could have been the first and i ordered that with a i think a cold air intake and other shit yeah get in there that's exactly what you need to do anyway uh once i opened the box i just i put them back in the box and i sent them right back and i re i refused to accept it because of quality and I was just expecting something like this, a big thick rubber deal that was gonna, I don't know, it, it was really thin, and it was, oh Christ almighty, it was formed and all that, but I didn't like them. <laughs> so anyway, <laughs> hold on a second, nah, I guess I'm just gonna stay there. So anyway, I was pretty skeptical about these aftermarket mats, and uh, usually I'd like to trust the, the manufacturer themselves. Like, uh, if it's a Ford, you buy the, the Ford mats and Chevy, Chevy, and whatever. But, there's a problem with that, and I guess I'll run up and show you. I'll point to it now, but then I'll show you the actual proof. And this is from the whole Toyota toboggle. With the whole floor mats getting caught in the pedals and all that, and the, the recalls. and uh, Them kind of targeting Toyota, I won't talk about. It's kind of irrelevant. But basically... The mats now that the factory makes won't be anywhere near the fucking pedals. Which doesn't make any sense, because that's where your feet do the most of work. Unless you, you know, travel on the highway a lot and you're using cruise control, but... If you see a lot of dirt roads, muddy roads, it, obviously you're not using cruise control. But they're covering their own ass. And it... That's one thing, but the products are suffering. So I tried... To go another route, I can't even remember where I saw the WeatherTech deal. I saw another ad somewhere. Something drew me to them because I wasn't really in the market for oh these custom floor mats, but they had a pretty good advertisement or whatever. I mean, their marketing was pretty good, so it drew me to them. That's always a plus. So I got one for my truck. This is our ranch truck by the way and I guess old these two fucking morons will have to party in there. You guys alright? So I'll show you the old mat and then I'll show you the weather tech one and I'll let you know my opinion of it. So here's what you get from Ford now and this is pretty much what you get from anybody. Here's where your pedals are. Notice how you know the meat and potatoes are missing. And I have to give you more warnings. Oh my god. I would run these down there and put it in the truck and show you. I guess I could. In terms of quality and thickness and, you know, what the mat is, it's perfect. But just the way it's shaped is, well, it's fucking stupid because, well, lawyers. Go figure. Now, WeatherTech claims they use some laser precision designing deal to where they get all the contours of your your floor pardon the filth and uh i believe them <clears throat> genius to go with a one piece floor mat you can see here there's the carpet this is all matte and god damn it i don't know if you can see well you can kind of see here's the carpet it goes completely underneath the pedals. Got a nice little logo there. Yada yada. 
covers all what it needs to on the other side. And this is, I mean, just perfect. You, you could even see the dirt channeling to where everything's going to run out right here. And, you know, obviously that's not a perfect spot. It's not made to be a, a drain. But that's the low point. And all the crap's going to go there as opposed to all over your carpet. And I, on my previous video of this truck, I mentioned how carpet is an option you're forced, you know, to have. They don't do rubber floors anymore. At least Ford doesn't and GM doesn't. I think Dodge still does, but I don't know. The last Dodge we had was a 2012. Things could have changed since then. So let me show you what the factory mat would be. I mean, look at all that dead space. Like, all this is the WeatherTech mat. And look where the stock mat leaves you. And I don't know, maybe... <laughs> I'm guessing that uh, the way litigation works in this country nowadays is WeatherTech ain't quite the gravy train as a Ford or a GM or a Toyota would be to sue the shit out of. So, they don't give a shit. And it is thin, or thinner than that, but this is... If I recall, it's been a, many a moon and many a beer ago. That Husky stuff, if I remember, it was... It was thin, but it was like really rigid. This is, it's softer, it conforms to all the curves, I mean everything. This thing is fucking perfect. I was very surprised by their advertisements. I thought, oh, it's going to be better than a Husky, but I also thought the Husky is going to be damn good too. And I don't know how Husky is nowadays. Maybe they've upped their game. Maybe they're even not in business anymore. Don't care. But this thing, it was about a hundred and... I think around $140 shipped. Extremely impressed with it. I mean, it fits absolutely perfect. And whatever their little gimmick is about being laser fitted, it seems to work. Even this this deal right here, and God damn it, pardon me, the lighting is pretty bad, but it even fits right around that. I mean, just absolutely perfect. So, if you need a mat, and they make back ones too, I have no use for a back one. With the extended cab, I don't expect too many passengers, and I'm using the one out of my 2010, the Ford one. And I figured there's a little tra traffic I have, but I've seen pictures of their, their back ones, and of course crew cabs are the most popular thing now. They seem to be just as good, and of course they'd be a lot easier to fit because it's flat back there, but they fit around the, the front seats and all that. So yeah, WeatherTech, as you know, I'm not on anybody's payroll, and... If I give a opinion on something, it's my honest opinion. Nobody's greasing me and whatever. If you're new to my channel or my videos or my uh, product reviews, I can assure you that there's been several products in the past I have given some pretty unfavorable reviews to. I should have done this video earlier when there was a little bit more light. But, here's how the other side lays. I mean, this isn't perfect, obviously, but it, that doesn't matter. But it, it wraps around this. It, I mean, it sticks up a little here, but other than that, I mean, it, well, first of all, they don't make it shit. But it fits here perfect. Around them contours up there. I'm very impressed with them. So, there's my two cents.